Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Itai Etsu, a cyber security specialist at RSL Consulting. Today we're going to be discussing on the comprehensive guide to cyber security. This means what are the best procedures and strategies to use when protecting our devices and data that's contained within them. In terms of protecting our digital information, average tech consumers are more than happy to leave the protection of their sensitive information to the company manufacturing the product or a cybersecurity service provider. As proprietors of our own data, we have certain responsibilities and precautions we must take to keep our data safe. Number one, use strong and unique passwords. Employ strong and different passwords for each account. The same password for multiple accounts puts your digital presence at risk. These passwords must include letters, numbers, and special characters, and must be at least 12 characters long to prevent brute force attacks. Enable two-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication has become a standard procedure in multiple data protection platforms. This authentication process usually includes two or more verification procedures that can include what you know and what you have. So for example, a two-factor authentication may include system asking for a username and password, and when the information has been accepted, it can also act for a fingerprint scan. This extra layer of protection acts as a contingency plan if one authentication method has been compromised. Keep software and devices updated. All applications, operating systems and the devices that house them must be regularly updated to their latest versions. Not only does this improve the performance of devices and applications, but these updates usually come with security patches that address the latest security vulnerabilities in these applications. Most of these manufacturers release these updates on a monthly basis, so always be notified of their releases. Be cautious of phishing attacks. Phishing is a popular technique among cyber criminals that involves sending fraudulent emails to victims embedded with malicious links or documents. The aim is to trick victims into clicking on the link or download the document, thereby installing malware into their device. Look out for grammatical errors and misspellings in messages or emails sent. Also check the IP address and be sure it matches the address given in the email. Use secure Wi-Fi networks. All Wi-Fi networks must have strong unique passwords. Sensitive transactions like bank transfers and sending critical emails should not be performed in public Wi-Fi. Since public Wi-Fi is usually logged in and out of frequently by millions of users, they have weak security posture. Hackers use techniques like man in the middle and IP spoofing to intercept data being transmitted. Be wary of social engineering. Attackers usually perform social engineering to get victims to release sensitive personal information and eventually perform attacks against them. Do not divulge information like location of sensitive data and financial information without verifying the identity of the person requesting for it. Passwords and bank card information should never be revealed to anyone because even financial institutions do not ask for such information, so be aware of anyone who does. Regularly back up your data. External hard drives and cloud storage should be used to back up all data. If data theft or compromise occurs, that information can always be restored without complications. Note that the same way our frequently used devices are regularly updated and patched, the same will be performed on all backup devices and applications to maintain their hard security posture. Use reliable security software. Use industry standard antivirus and anti malware software on all systems to prevent malicious infections. Regular updates and upgrades must be performed on this software to protect them against new and evolving threats. If you are unsure of what products best suit your needs, always make sure your anti malware has threat detection and prevention capabilities for the best information security experience. Educate yourself on cybersecurity best practices. Train yourself and loved ones on cybersecurity standards and best practices. Attend awareness programs to learn about training threats like phishing, social engineering, and malware. Make it a habit of using strong passwords. Configure multi factor authentication and be cautious when transmitting sensitive information. In conclusion, remember cybersecurity is an ongoing effort. That requires continuous monitoring, evaluation, and implementing best practices and staying proactive 
always reduces the risk of data breaches and protects your sensitive information.